Well, I have a phenomenal artist here, Tower Gordon. The Hi. Tower Gordon. <laughs> Hi. He's painted very famous people like Michael Jackson, Kobe Bryant, and Shaquille O'Neal. And he's met Kevin Durant and so many other paintings. It's such an honor to have you here, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> Thank you very much for letting me be on your show. You're welcome. Drop some love in the comments for Tyler because it's an honor to have you here. Thank you. So, are you ready to start with the questions? Yes. What made you start painting? What inspired you to paint? I started painting when I was 10 years old, actually, at a school STEM fair. My, my school opened up a new art category, and no one else entered. So, um, I was the first and only one to enter, and I actually did end up winning first place. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. Can you share a little bit about your bullying experience? So, um. Quick my, question real quick. Is yeah. it okay if we pick your picture up with your tooth? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I guess I'll just. How I did that. Um, so, um, how I broke my tooth is, um, at school, um, some kids, um, unscrewed the desk from my desk. <laughs> so when I sat down, the desk, it flipped up. Um, this way, and when I stood up, it it busted my lip and broke my tooth in half. And um, it did expose my nerve and my tooth. So um, it did take a while for the uh, dentist to fix it. And Actually, where it broke, it's actually all fixed now. They actually did a really good job on it. That's really great. I'm happy you're okay. Thank you. Have you been bullied a lot? Yes, there was a lot of blood. Well, I've been bullied before, and I've stopped eating for 11 weeks. And we're doing speeches and raising awareness. It's helped me cope bullying. Um, how about your pictures? Has it helped you cope bullying? Oh yes. Um, <laughs> since I stutter, um, I use my art to speak. Um, um, so basically, I speak through my art, what my feelings, and okay, yeah. Okay. Have your teachers helped or your principal or any principal? Um, some teachers and principals do support me, but others, um, some teachers and principals don't really do anything about it. That's sad. Yeah. What should kids do when they see bullying happen? When I or any other kids at my school um see bullying, they all step up because um when they found out that um a kid unscrewed my desk. Um, they were all wondering who did it, and they were all stepping up for me. 
Oh, I know that was a tough question, though. What would you say to people who bully other kids or to your bullies? Um, I would say um, whoever bullied you in the past because there is some reason um, that you're bullying. Um, I forgive you and yeah, you guys should too because um, They, they, they don't know what pain we feel, and I'm pretty sure that they felt it too. So that's how they want other people to feel their pain. So um, I would just tell them to forget people and just to step up. Well, uh, what would you tell your boys? What my boys? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, well, I would say that they're just mad that they're not cool because they want to make other people feel sad because when I was bullied, I was sad and I didn't eat for 11 weeks. And it really made me have a darkness inside me because I was in pre preschool. I was like five or four years old. My teacher was really mean because... When I wasn't eating, she always just pulled me into the bathroom and just told me to stay there in Chinese and be rude. So I never really tried to step up to it until the day I was bullied. And I told my mom she would be sad if I died. But then I told her I wanted to start my, my own nonprofit. What do you want to do with your art in the future? Hmm? What do you want to do with your art in the future? With my art in the future, um, I want to um, make my art um, and to sell um, all my art around the world so different other people can see my art and just um, be happy that they have a painting of something beautiful inside their home. Cool, that's very cool. What do you want people to know about you? Well, to me, um, I paint from my heart. Um, I never give up, and I always speak up to bullies. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Thank you. Well, it's crazy with this coronavirus out here. It really is. What are you painting? Um, I'm almost done. <laughs> it's a surprise. Well, um, I'll just give the camera. I guess I'll just stand up for this. I'm wearing a shirt that's for the national. I'm a little confused because when I hit my arm, like, uh -oh. oopsies, it's dark. Oh, that's a really nice shirt. Actually. I'm confused because when I hit my arm like this, is the other arm. Um, I. Oh my goodness, I have this shirt for the day of. April 10th, the day of silence, because I'm going to take a stand against bullying against the LGBTQ students. So, that's actually really that's cool. Why I'm wearing this shirt because I had my cousins actually come. I actually did like a speech for the shirt and for the National Day of Silence against the LGBTQ students. That's what the stuff was about and also i had my cousins come and had this camera girl just film some stuff for the national day of silence that's really cool good job and remember it's on april 10th i will look out for that um thank you 
welcome. Is there anything else you want to share? I just want to say believe in yourself and believe in your family members. And if we're um, in trouble or you're being bullied, you can always um, look up to friends or family. That's very cool. Always the right thing to say at the end. Well, I would say that you should just believe in yourself, like you said, and it's very happy because whatever you believe you can achieve that's everything i think in my mind for like when we wrap up but just thank you and i'm amazed for being able to have you here you're a phenomenal artist thank you are you ready yeah Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a picture of me. Yeah, very cool, huh? Yeah, very cool. Thank you. Bye. Bye. You guys. Um, see you again, maybe. If you move to LA sometime. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, Tyler. Bye. Have a great